Hi, my name is Paul Jordan. Welcome to another video in a series about useful Google Chrome extensions. Right, just put my glasses on so I can really see clearly what I'm doing. So over here, um, Lightshot. This is the one I'm going to talk to you about today. It's a screen grab tool. So in the Chrome store, that's where you'll find it. It's got 7,004 and a half star reviews, which is really good. Once you've installed it in your Chrome browser, it will have a little symbol just there, like a purple feather. So here's how it works. So if you have a website that you're trying to mark up and put comments on to give feedback to a designer or something like that, you can press the little button there, click the button or the icon, select an area of your screen. Now, once you've selected it, you can move it around. You can resize it as all the things you typically would expect on a computer. And then you can add markup. So I'm going to put a rectangle symbol around one of these things here. Now, if I move the mouse pointer into white space, you can see at the end, there's a tiny little circle. And if I use my scroll wheel, you can see you can make that bigger or smaller. So the next rectangle will have a big border. Um, next rectangle has got a slightly thinner border. If I want to change the color, click on the color palette there, choose a new color, select blue, click OK. And now I've got blue lines. Now, as well as rectangles, you can, of course, insert arrows to point to things. You can have free format markup. I just feel like changing the color again now. So I'm going to come over here, have a bright green color. Okay. Now we can insert lines and we can insert text boxes. So select the text box there. So I'm going to put a comment. Let's put it up here in a white space. Comment. And as usual, you can drag the box around. You can find the drag handle in the corner there. I carefully position the mouse, move it around. Um, once again, you can change the size of the text with the scroll wheel on your mouse, make it bigger, make it smaller. Now, once you've finished doing your markup, you've got a number of things available to you. You can save that markup as a file to your computer, probably put it in your downloads folder. You can copy it to the clipboard. So if you're writing a document and you want to put a screenshot in there, just go to your Word document or Excel spreadsheet or whatever it is you're using, PowerPoint, do Control-V and you'll have a snapshot of the screen into your Word document. You can click the Print button. Obviously, that'll print it out. If you want to do a Google um, search to, on the image to find other images that are similar to the one that you've highlighted, you just click the Google search button there. As you'd expect, you can share it on social networks. And here you can upload it to the cloud. Now this one's really useful because instead of sharing the whole image by email or something that's bandwidth hungry, if you do this, what it will do is it'll upload a copy of the screen to your Lightshot account. And you can see that you've got the URL to it up here. So all you've got to do is copy that URL and then send it to somebody. So if you wanted to send it as a text, send it as an email, send it in a Facebook message. You're just sending that URL, that unique URL, so that the person at the other end can see what it is that you've marked up. So it's very, very good. Now with Lightshot, you can actually download a desktop app. And all that does is to store, um, or rather install an icon in your taskbar on the bottom of your computer screen. So instead of having to use the icon in your web browser here, you have a little icon in your taskbar, but it behaves exactly the same way. You click it, you then highlight the screen, mark it up, and click one of the symbols to decide what you want to do with the end product. Once you've uploaded it, it appears, as I say, in your account. So I'm going to refresh my account there. You can see there it is. Once it's there, I can click on it, and you can do things with it once it's here. There's an image, edit image editor. So you've got a choice of a photo editor there um, and things like that, which I'm not going to go into now because the whole point of this um, video is to really tell you about the extension itself and not to sort of just go down the editor route. But I'm just showing you that there are other options available for this if you so wish to pursue. But anyway, that's the basics of it. You've got the screenshot uploaded to your web account for free. Um, you can share it with other people. And um, it's a good way of marking things up, things like website design, graphic design, images, and so forth. 
and sharing it with your designer who may be outsourced to another country. So that's the end. I hope that was useful. Um, please like, sh like, subscribe and share um, if you liked it. Thank you very much for your time watching. Hope it was good. Bye for now.